right, to operate this machine, to operate the machine properly, it states on the manual that you need to connect everything. You need to, first thing first, you need to uh, kill the bacteria, sterilize it. They want you to operate the distillation switch on only. And for until you see steam on the on the top, when you see the steam on the top, you can put your hand and feel that steam. And it's, that's after 25 minutes, you should, you should feel the steam. Once you feel that steam after 25 minutes, then they say to turn the fan on. That should have killed everything, any bacteria in the system inside or whatever, it should kill, it should have killed that everything. And also, it, 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 they say after 2000 hours, that's practically three months of use, you gotta take the, uh, the distiller tank on the, on the bottom and uh, disconnect the hoses, disconnect the uh, the electrical. I'm gonna show you right quick. I'm just gonna show you. You just connect, you connect, disconnect this electrical right on top there, that's it. That one, just connect the two hoses right in here. And I mean, after you turn off the system, you gotta turn off and plug the, the main power. And then you can pull the, the this container off and dump it, get rid of the water. They say empty the, the whole thing, but I don't think you gotta do that, but clean that off, you know. What I, what I put is uh, a little vinegar inside of it after it's clean. Just to you know, make sure it breaks everything down. You know, when you're gonna clean it. The the also it has a uh, another shut up valve on the bottom, right here, to drain it. So you could connect along another line, send it down to a washout or whatever. Drain the water. I'm gonna do that. That's another another way. I mean, I'm probably gonna do that. I'm probably gonna add another line in there just to drain it out. See what happens. So, so they they it says that um, to fill it, it takes about seven, eight hours, something like that. Um, oh, I'm sorry, five five to six hours to say that it should have seven gallons of water. I mean, I'm sorry, ten gallons of water or nine and a quarter gallons of water. It should be filled. Um, we usually, usually use probably three gallons a day, maybe a little bit more, but three gallons. So that's sufficient for us. It, it, so I'm also the, the water, if you want to feed your refrigerator, I have the line coming out to the to the to the refrigerator. You need to have a pump. You need to have a to suck the water out because if you don't, depending how long is your line or how far is your refrigerator from the machine, you will have problems feeding to the refrigerator. So I have a pump, and that's in a sucked all all the line all the air out of the line and and. It's flowing beautiful. I got right now enough pressure going into the refrigerator with the help of the pump. That's a bite. I show you that in another video. So with that, I mean, it's the machine is awesome, awesome. Now also improvise. I put this this frame on, and for all those that believe in Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God for that because we are saved through the Son of God. And I give him, you know, the credit. I give him the honor for the forgiveness of my sins. And I believe that John 3.16 is real. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. 
And somewhere in the Acts, I think Acts chapter 10, verse 9. I could be wrong on that, but it says, you know, whoever believes in the Son uh, would, would not be ashamed. You know, whoever believes in the Son is guaranteed for salvation. So, that's my little picture. I mean, approved. I love it. I like the way it looks. You know, the machine is operating good. I mean, this paper, that's my written paper here. I mean, but I got this little thing here. I got that down here just in case there's a leak of water. I got something to suck the water out. Just to be in a safe shore, but all that is dry. I mean, there's no no wetness under, under here is dry. And if anybody has this system, and you can share some, you know, some, uh, safeties or experiences with the system let me know i i can't find uh this ma machine being sold on online uh, um, I, I was lucky to find it online i bought it from this guy in new jersey and so he practically was gonna throw it out i mean i i it, it, it was a miracle that i i i found it on ebay and <laughs> i just I, I thought I wasn't gonna be able. To, and he put, he listed it as not working. He listed it for parts only. I brought it, and it was a problem with the inlet, the water inlet solenoids, and the relay. That fixed the problem, and it works. It works beautiful. The new product that I that I bought used is not. Is it's not new because they don't make them no more. Pure water doesn't make them no more. But the guy, he didn't want to fix it. He didn't want to fix it, so he gave it to me for a hundred dollars. It's a, it's a, it's pretty, it's pretty tall. We got a gotta um clean it it's really disgusting so see that everything works on it everything works on it so i took the panel off on the side i gotta you know clean all that too it has two tanks it has a tank down here there's a tank right here the distiller tank and in the back there's the refrigerator because it cools also and there's another tank right in here, as you can see right there, right here. It, it holds all together 10 gallons. So, this is the, the, the part that goes in here, but I'm not gonna use that. I'm not gonna use that, I don't, absolutely not. I don't like the way it looks, but basically it goes right in the side here, but we're gonna put something better than that. But anyways, the Lord, the Lord provided. Thank you, Jesus. And it works. It works. I fixed it. Thank God. The Lord gave me, uh, you know, the, the wisdom to fix it.